you've got a new tattoo since last time I saw you. Can I see it? Uh, the the last one the last one was probably one of the other like one of the things from the Golden Record. Yeah. Um, and the first one, What's which is also science related, is this. That looks like Mission Impossible it's, code. Right? So right before I turned 40, I was like, I, I'm going to do it. I've wanted them for so long. Yeah. Uh, I went on that show, Finding Your Roots. Do you know oh, the show? No, but I did someone or something like it. Okay. I did, who do you think you are? I did something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, so yeah, similar yeah. where they like yeah. do your DNA. They yeah. do this genealogy thing. Yeah. So, uh, so I thought, all right, well, that'll be uh, whatever they teach me, I'll get my first tattoo. And I went on that show thinking, like, I want to find out that I'm like, a third Scottish, and I can get like a family crest. <laughs> yeah, you're all laughing because you know, you know that. But you know what I mean? Like in your head, I'm like, there's gonna be something yeah, cool. There's gonna all be something the random. Yeah. Say that you're gonna find out something random. Yeah. So I do the show, and and they uh, six months later you go in and they film everything and they go, you are 99.9 percent .9 South Asian. How do you feel? <laughs> And I just blurted out like... You are 100% that yeah, bitch. Yeah, literally, I was like, what? Exactly. And I was like, yeah, I know, it's so disappointing. Like, oh, you're disappointed in who you are? And I'm like, no, no, that's Don't not what I said. Don't quote me. But they did say, they did show me this map with this, this number, R1A-M147, which is yeah. a, a maternal haplogroup that you share with millions and millions of other people, and it's basically your DNA ancestry. And I was oh, like, that's going to be my first tattoo. That's super cool. Because it's science. Yeah. Now, that said, I then went and bought my own DNA testing kit to see what else was in there, yeah, and that came four months after that, and I'm on my computer logging in, and oh, I no. see that my maternal haplogroup, which I have tattooed at that point, that it's says R1A-M147, on the computer it says R1A-M417. Oh, you all are laughing. You're so gleeful, my, aren't you? So I gleeful. am. My partner, Josh, was home at the time, and I was like, yeah. dude, come over here. What is the deal with this? R1 is this real? Is this yeah. real? And the gleeful look on his face. <laughs> like, I have never seen him happier and just be like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and then I emailed them all and, you know, I was like, yo, what's the deal how with this? And how, yeah, but now I kept it because it's a good story. My first tattoo is a Japanese kanji character and I, and they said it means blessed. And then I was like, yeah, that's awesome. I was like 18 years old. I was like, this yeah. is cool. Yeah. My place had just burned down. I wasn't in it. So that's a blessing. And yeah, so I was really. trying, I love irony. And so I literally got it done. And then I, when I went to Japan, I was literally like, Please, dear God, tell me this means blessed. I was like, it was like, I was like 21, and they were like, it means blessed, but it also means like someone's surname, like their last, it's a family uh -huh. name. <laughs> so I just have like someone's family name on my body. It's fine. We make really good decisions at 18.